Southern Miss got three corner kicks early in the game. Were you worried at that point? Or worried, just a little, a little bit concerned that we didn't come out. Um, you know, a um, hundred percent. You know, from the whistle, we talked about that. But uh, you know what? After they had their corner kicks, everything settled down. And the team did fine. How do you feel the team came out after the big win Friday? Were you pleased with it or not? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Outside of those first couple of minutes, you know, and um, I think that was a good wake-up call for us. But uh, um, you know, this is a tough game when you when you after you win a big game, you know, um, it's tough to come out flying. But um, you know, I was pleased with the performance. It was great to be able to get everybody in uh, and play some quality minutes, actually. But um, you know, credit to Southern Miss, they're a hard fighting team, you know, and. Um, you know, very blue collar, uh, make you work for it. But, um, you know, I thought we scored some great goals. I thought it was a great team effort. Christabel had two goals today, but she's coming up with assists this season. Talk about her effort. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, she's dangerous. You know, she can do it all. You know, she absolutely can do it all. She can score, she can assist. And, um, you know, that's what you expect from your big players. But, uh, you know, she had a good performance today. She had a, you know, very good weekend. And, you know, just want her to take that momentum into next weekend. Looking ahead, you got East Carolina and Marshall in here next weekend. Just uh, the six-game homestand, you're four and zero. Just to watch yeah, your thoughts. yeah, yeah. You know, it's all about the team. You know, progressing, getting better from game to game. And I think so far, um, you know, we are. We challenge the kids at the end of conference or non-conference play. You know, what can you take? You know, from all the experiences that we've learned, and you know, put them together and come up with a positive. And they've done a good job. You know, a good start. Um, you know, to the conference, but it's obviously a long conference season, and got to keep it going. So, Duro, you got two goals and an assist today. Just talk about this game. Um, I feel we uh, had the mentality to come out and win, especially coming off of UCF. We just knew we had to put them away early, and we struggled a little bit in the beginning, but it took us a little bit, and then eventually we started, got one, kept them from there. You start off 2-0 and in conference. How big is that? It's huge, especially beating UCF. I mean, everyone loves to beat them. They're our biggest rivals. And we just got to keep the ball rolling from here. We did it last year. We can do it again. All right, we're here with Natalia gomez Junco. You got your second goal of the season today. Just uh, talk to us that goal. Uh, oh, yeah, I got uh, my goal. It was a very nice play from, from all the team all the way from the midfield. And Taylor laid it off to me, and I just, um, just hit it to the goal. Overall, it was a very good performance. Uh, it was nice to get every play on the field, and it was a great weekend. Midfield's having a better job keeping the ball possession-wise. How good is that for you, yourself? Yeah, well, we're, we're finding each other better. I feel each game we're getting better at that, and I feel like that that is helping, of course, like all the team and having the ball more and playing the forwards. and getting to goal easier and I think it's just a matter of playing with each other and with game after game we'll get better at that.